Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to a Betrayal at Krondor. We've got some enemies up ahead of us. Let's make sure that we are on scouting and stealth, and we are. So let's go ahead and see if we can uh, ambush them. Cave Giant hasn't noticed us yet. Let's agree to attack. Charge! Their attack was unexpected. Eyes wide with surprise. The enemy scrambled to defend. Aha! Okay, we do have two puppers and two giants. Which could hurt. I do not actually want to be on defense. I want to be on melee. Melee for you as well. Melee and defense for Pug. I kind of wish that, like... You had the ability to decide where your people would be in combat. I don't know how the game decides this sort of thing. Bonk. Get down, pupper. <laughs> Just chucking rocks at Pug for four points of damage. It's kind of ridiculous. Shoot. That was a mistake. Another rock at Pug. Let's see if we can take out this giant with, uh... Pug and Owen. Oh, wow. There we go. That is just ridiculous. Alright, what do we got? Nothing on that giant. 53 worthless gold coins and some rations. I will take the rations. This is much the same as the magical perimeters the Temerian gods use. Makala must have learned their nature while he was there. Can you disassemble it? Disassemble it? Not directly. We'll have to go to the source of its generation and eliminate the problem there. So if you find Makala, we'll be able to remove it. No, Makala is already within, investigating the lifestone as we speak. He will have Spellweavers scattered throughout this location to maintain a shield of his power. I don't think he was absolutely certain that I would have found the cup. So he knew you were going to find it? About two years ago, he was absent from Midchemia for a number of months. Shortly after I informed him that I would divulge no more about this chamber and the events at the end of the Great Uprising of the Moradel. When he reappeared, he dismissed his absence saying that he had been traveling. So you think he ran across the cup himself? Among other things, it's the only way he could have known about its powers and left it for me to discover. It is also probably about the time he decided to make contact with the Morado. It's time we found the Six. Delicon's magical assistants? Not having seen them, I can't be certain whether they are native or not, but I suspect they aren't Moradel spellweavers, despite whatever appearance they may be using. Makala has played your ruler for a fool. Delicon won't stand to benefit in the slightest from this raid, despite anything Makala might have indicated. Enough speculation. The sooner we find the Six, the sooner we can get this shield down. Okay. Not that there's any indication there. I don't know what it was you were thinking, Owen, but as you see, the barrier is still here. We will have to find the Six and convince them to drop this shield. You mean kill them? They are at Sarani, as I suspect. It's, it is very probable. Let's get to finding them. Okay. That is uh, our end goal in that uh, room. But we have to continue searching this area first. Alright, uh, let's check out this way first. See if there's anything of interest. We have a passage up here, which is just a dead end. And if we continue down here.
We'll find some more passages. Which happen to be dead ends. But this one leads back here. And we need to open it with that key. And that takes us back to this uh, first room. Alright, so we've uh, successfully connected up everything. Let's make our way back up this way. Fine, we'll rest. Let's go ahead and camp until healed. That's fine. Use the Ring of Prander. Fix up that armor a little bit. Uh, let's see, anything else that we can swap around? Goroth doesn't need to carry the rope. Go ahead and take the uh, flaming arrows. Um, anything else that I want to do? Uh, right, dragon stone on the armor. I don't know if there's any real usefulness in it, but uh, we'll keep doing it. Keep getting the stuff on the uh, on our equipment. Might as well use all of these things, right? Okay, let's get back here. And we've got some more foes up ahead. Get back onto scouting and stealth. So I can increase my chances... Well, increase the chances of them going up. It doesn't increase the chances of surprising them. Wardell Warrior hadn't noticed us, and we agreed to attack. Charge! The enemy was not surprised. Weapons out ready, shouted Pug. Looks like we're going to fight them on their terms. It's fine. Ow. Okay, melee. Melee. And melee and defense for Pug. Boop. Boop. Don't miss. Guys, come on. Don't miss. See, look at Gorath. Look, I'll take care of some of these guys. You guys can keep trying. I mean, the Mordell aren't exactly uh, hurting us much either. Groth studied his opponent. While it was possible he could be grossly misjudging some of the Mordell warrior's abilities, he was absolutely convinced about certain facts. 36 health, 1 stamina, 5 speed, 17 strength, 41% melee, at 36% defense. Yeah, they're pretty fast, but... Uh, Go. Not a whole lot of uh, health on them. There we go. Bug's defense ability has increased. Excellent. About time. 57. I would like it to be higher, but, you know. Can't do much about that. Alright, do you guys have any goodies for me? That one does not. Dollatail milk is uh, nothing to sneeze at. Spoiled rations are <laughs> definitely not something that I want. 68 worthless gold coins. I will continue to hoard them. 
a key that I don't really have any use for. Six rations, we'll go ahead and take those. Uh, two rations, we'll go ahead and take those as well. Yeah, we're okay on rations individually. Go ahead and apply that. Alright. Continuing on. Hi, giants! Cave giant hasn't noticed them. Let's go ahead and attack. Charge! The enemy jumped back! No boosts to stealth and stuff, though. Excuse me. Forty damage, wow. Does this thing just like have instant death chances or something? Maybe I should do an assessment on them at some point. Owen's accuracy melee has increased. Okay, it is safe. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look. We can pick it. Get you onto a lockpick. There we go. Two herbal packs. Uh, one naphtha. That's pretty good. Some rope. I guess I'll keep the rope for now. I don't really care about the inventory space. At the moment. Keep the uh, armor topped off. Uh, four rations. And flame root oil. So I'll use that at some point. And two rations on you. Go ahead and take those. Okay, get back onto scouting and stealth. Accuracy and melee is up to 72% on Owen. Very nice. Alright. Alright, so from here, let's go ahead and make our way up this way. We've got a door here. Can we pick it? Eh, you think you can. Indeed we can. Perfect. Scouting and stealth in case there's anything in here. No, we have a chest though. A mortal wordlock chest. Ah, oh, it's been a while. All right. Its tail is round and hollow. Seems to get chewed a bit, but you'll rarely see this thing unless the other end is lit. What? What has a tail that you light? Um. A pipe. Yes, indeed. Excellent. Okay, some... 
Magical bolts. Some more rope. Some restoratives. Who needs restoratives? You've got 24. You've got two things at 24. Okay, six. Infinity pool, that could be uh, useful. Is there really even any trolls going to be around here? That's fine. Let's put some other things in there that uh, I'm not so sure we're, we're going to need to worry about. the staff. We'll have to come back here anyway. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, fully explore this uh, chamber. Down we go. Pug searched his memory. His faculties still clouded by the residual effects of his encounter on Tamiriyanya. He tried to remember the exact sequence of passageways in the ancient Valheria ruins. Seeing the master magician's dazed expression, Owen tugged on his sleeve. Are we going to go down to another level? He asked. Yes, we are. Of course, Pug replied absently. I was just thinking about something else. Without another word, Pug led them down the crumbling steps. All right, we are in uh, different... Uh, stonework here. Let's go ahead and zoom out a bit. Right, let's uh, get moving. Okay, we've got a chest that way. Do you have anyone around here? Doesn't look like it. Alright. Let's go ahead and reveal this chamber. Okay, no foes. You do have two chests. Alright, Moradel wordlock chests, at least one of them. Clue. Four legs in front, two behind. Its steely armor scratched and dented by rocks and sticks. Still it toils as it helps feed the hungry. Plow? Oh yeah, for yeah, the uh, an animal dry uh, leading it and pulling it and a uh, human behind. All right, yeah, definitely a plow. Okay, two crossbows that we don't care about, silverthorn that I don't care about, anti venom, which might as well, and a crossbow string that I don't care about. Okay. And indeed, another Mordell chest. Batty. In the fields, a frightful thing. Watch it and you will find. It has a pitchfork in the front and a broom back behind. Ah, bull. It has two horns. And the broom is the tail. Okay, armor that I don't care about. Lockpicks that I don't care about. Uh, restoratives that I do care about. Gonna take those. And some herbal packs that I care about. Probably should just constantly use these things at this point. I have so many of them. Alrighty, onward to progress. We've got a door here. 
It's locked up tight. Pug nodded. I know this make of lock. I believe it can be opened with a ward of Rollin Sheb. Okay. I think most of the doors around here will be. We got something down here. Wind Elemental hadn't noticed them. It's anybody's guess whether he's out to kill us or is just taking a stroll somewhere, Pug said. Probably best if we try to avoid him. Let's agree to attack the Wind Elemental. Charge! Their approach was undetected. Charging forward, Pug finally caught a good glimpse of his opponent and wished he hadn't. The strangeness took his breath away, and glancing over his shoulder at Gorath, he gasped, We may be in trouble! Oh, we've taken on two of them. It's just one. You know what? I am going to do assessment. Let's see what we got. Uh, health 25, speed 6, strength 19, melee 65, cast 71, defense 72. Owen studied his opponent. While it was possible he could be grossly misjudging some of the Wind Elemental's abilities, he was absolutely convinced about certain facts. Um, what, what, is, is there a, I, I refuse to accept this? I, I, I refuse to accept that it has 25 health? No? Strength drain. And it was enough to kill it. Search the body for supplies. It's a wind elemental. Does it have a body? It does have a body. It has nothing on it, but it does have a body. Yeah, I'm gonna need to rest soon. What do we have here? The six. The six, huh? The spellweaver hadn't noticed them. Alright, are we on the appropriate things? We are. Charge! The Spellweaver awaited them. We were told to expect you, Malamber, the Spellweaver said, raising his staff, and we were instructed you were not to pass into the Lifestone Chamber. You cannot win, Pug bluffed, not entirely certain he could match the Great One's power in his present state. From somewhere, the Sarani Magician found the resolve to continue. We shall discover the truth of it. So, our first, uh, Sarani. Alright. Please don't move. <laughs> Pug studied his opponent, opponent. While it was possible he could be grossly misjudging some of the Spellweaver's abilities, he was absolutely certain about certain facts. Speed 3, Strength 18, Health 54, Melee 75, Cast 99, Defense 69. Go get him, Gorath. Womp. Yeah, see, this is why you should not be a single wizard fighting two wizards and a warrior. It's just not a good idea. It's really not a good idea. Uh, one ration. 75 gold coins! And a uh, noble's pass key? Noble's Paskey. Not that it matters. Um, greatsword. And elven armor, not... Well, okay, I guess they are taking the uh, forms of elves, so I, I suppose that does make sense. Is there something over there? There is something over here. Another Mordell wordlock chest. Okay, I'm good with that. Tef... Although lower than a fence, and thinner than a rail, it can still be used to hold a horse. Hooves, mane, and tail. Um... Uh, five letters, so it's obviously not a rope or a mane. I mean, not mane, rope, line. Uh, 
thinner than a rail. It's not lead. It's not rain either. I don't know. All right, I'm just gonna look it up. Steak. Really? Yeah, I never would have gotten that one. Stacky. All right, chest thumped. What do we have inside? Um, blessing three dragon plate armor. That's pretty good. Not that I need it. And some more restoratives. The restoratives are the best thing to find here. Because I'm going to end up... Uh, oh, hey, another chest. I'm going to go ahead and rest and uh, probably just constantly use restoratives to get people up to their max. Or at least close to the max. Cons. Though not a plant, has leaves. Though not a beast, has spine. Though many wouldn't need this thing, tis more valuable than wine. It's a book. Super easy. It's a boss. Now, bosses don't have spines. Booze. Hui. Yeah, book. All right. And some herbal packs. A scroll of unfortunate flux, which I do believe both of y'all have. Unfortunate flux. And unfortunate flux. Because I should have the exact same spells at this point. And a sword of Kanur. With a number one thing on it. Alright, let's go ahead and explore the chamber. Just fully map it out. And, uh, okay, you don't want to sleep here. There we go. Yeah, we're all healing. Camp until healed. I don't think Gorath has taken any damage at all. Go. Yeah, I don't mind being one low. Alright, so you can take five more. There we go. We're still uh we're still on fifty two percent healing, so that's okay. Doll tell milk. Uh you got the strength stuff. only one actually getting hit. So, let's go ahead and put that on your weapon. Or your armor. Weapon, armor, same difference, right? Also, let's go ahead and put some of that on the weapon. Okay. When we come back next time, we'll continue to explore this level of uh, the dungeons beneath Sethanon. See if we can find our... Uh, the spell weavers that are blocking off Makala. Then we can go face Makala and wrap this up and save Midkemia. See you next time, everyone.